So again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression of Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have a legitimate experiment to do. And I need to try out a technique on this 8x10 canvas before I take a 18 by 24 inch canvas with a beautiful swipe on 5 eighths of it and uh, I don't want to experiment on it because I really love what I've got that I want to keep I just want to fix one end so I'm hoping this is going to be as fast as I think this is my OXO omelet turning spatula available on my Amazon link below show more underneath the video best paint spreading tool around Usually I can see things in there I'm not going to worry about that. I've got a couple of them now I'm happy to have, and I am going to use several colors that I have shaken. I thought I'd use the large ball chain, but I'm kind of thinking that I'll use the smaller. to make my flowers, which is my plan. I think I want some of this red down here. I don't know how that, uh, that neon pink is going to work, but I'm excited to try it. It doesn't much matter what happens to this. It'll probably wind up getting painted over eventually anyway. I like, as you can see, adding two colors at a time and if I didn't have a white background, I would probably also add a little bit of white across the top to pull down. I don't know if you can do this in advance like I'm trying to do it right now, but uh, yeah, I see I missed one. <laughs> I'll go over there right now. And I'll use that color. Whoops. I think you could probably use more than one color. So I'm going to start with the, uh, the largest ball chain, which is from Draperies as long as it's not schmutzy. And I've got a couple pieces, maybe that one's better. So I'm gonna... I am gonna what? I'm gonna start in the middle. And I'm gonna wipe that off. Although I probably could have left it right on there. I can also drag this over. I mean, this is just really simple stuff that you see pretty, pretty frequently. I'm pretty sure if you're trolling, <laughs> trolling YouTube for new ideas. I'd like to pull with my other hand to tell you the truth. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not adept enough to get away with it right now. Am I? No. <laughs> Am I? Am I that brazen? I might be. Let's see. All right, so here goes nothing. Let's put it in left-handed. All right, that's okay. Crossing them over doesn't seem to hurt anything either. Let's see about that here, right here. If I pick that up, I can stop it. Can I put it down again? Sort of. <laughs> anyway, so that's not that's not too impossibly hard. This could be just really quick. But it does give me an opportunity to try two different things I was really interested in trying. To change that up a little. Let's just pull it right down through and then pull it back up again and see what we get kind of want to pull, pull some green up and see what happens with that because I'm not super thrilled with that yellow there and I do have some green handy a couple of them actually I kind of like it when it doesn't pull all the way right like there So I'm just going to take a chance. I mean, this is nothing, this is definitely sacrificing a canvas if it doesn't turn out well. But it's not a big deal because it's small. 
I'm kind of thinking I can steal any of the colors that I want. I could even loop that. Boy, it's tempting. I could use a smaller chain and loop that. Why don't I do that? Because I can. That way it'll look a lot more like foliage, I think. I'm still going to wipe my chain off. Although I'm tempted to go down this time. Right off. Because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. So this is kind of fun. I recommend trying this. It's still going to be kind of abstract. I'm kind of using up my time for my other project. And I'm not certain that I want to do what I thought I wanted to do. Ooh, there's a rather large something in there that needs to go away. Not with that, though. Well, I guess that gives me an opportunity to see what I can do with a skewer, which I did in my other painting, and I really like when I do that, actually. So, that's kind of cute. A little fun. I could also, instead of using the chain, I could probably also use the skewer. But I'm not sure it's better. Matter of fact, I'm definitely not sure it's better. But, uh... But as long as I keep wiping my chain off, I can probably get away with most things. Just going to use it full on. That's not what I was expecting to do there, but that's okay. Because it's still kind of cool. This is kind of cute. I'm going to have to turn it around for you before it's too late. I guess it's just going to be a short video and I'll come back and do the next one in a minute. Just a quickie. I would like to be able to pull some of that green down. Do I have another green? I do. So I could put with my right hand, which is more reliable, sometimes. I'm not minding the changing of the paint. I'm getting rid of that weird, <laughs> weird anomalous red area. I still think I prefer my my loop. So it's just an 8x10, but it kind of gives me the impression I might be able to get away with what I want to if I give it a try. I was worried about annihilating all my flowers, to tell you the truth. But since there really are no rules other than the ones you make up for yourself, that's pretty cool. Let's push some paint out of the way. I'll tell you guys, if you guys give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. I don't have very many people watching, but I've got over 80,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. I appreciate that. Um, I don't think it matters if you watch the commercials, but it used to. Um, I'm slowly being annihilated by YouTube. <laughs> not not putting my uh, videos in a place where you can find them. So if you wouldn't mind doing me one favor, and it's a big one, Share my videos when you get a chance, because that's the one thing that will get me out there that I can't control. Kind of want to, kind of want to do that. Spiral some of the top. That's kind of cool. I like it. Alrighty. Well, that's neat. I'm not unhappy with any of that.
well, I'm not super pleased with this that particular spot, but I think it'll be all right in a second. It's my story, and I'm sticking to it. There we go. All right, so I'm going to torch to release the bubbles in the paint from added pouring medium. Say, if you want to mix a couple colors to do a chain pull, just lay that chain right in beside it. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio, letting you know that if you want to be a support to me, you can! I sell my artwork, and I'm looking for buyers. Oh, nice little cells popping. I use no silicone in my artwork. I do use GAC 800 by Golden to keep my paint from cracking as the first stage when I mix my color. My pouring recipe is underneath the video, and you can find PayPal and Patreon for the monthly drawing, where I give away a signed book or a credit toward a certain amount of painting, uh, painting credit or uh, or an actual painting or a choice of actual paintings. Yeah, I want that yellow right there. <laughs> you can tell because I'm adding it in front of you instead of waiting till later. You know what? I like that yellow so much. It's actually orange. But I'm going to add a little bit more of it right there. And I'm going to wipe the schmutz off my stick first. Let's make sure I've got everything I want in there. I am not unhappy with that. That's darn cute. I love you guys. If you shop my Amazon link, it's under Show More, the blue link under uh, under the video, and it's at no added cost to you, but it definitely helps me out in the long run. Um, and I appreciate those of you who have shopped. I really appreciate all your nice comments. You guys keep my morale up, and uh, I really need that right now. Thank you so much for being here. And. Uh, and um, thank you for contributing in the past to help keep me painting, which I'm going to need more than ever pretty soon because um, the paycheck is disappearing from YouTube, it seems like, very quickly. And uh, I will find other ways to keep coming back to you guys. You keep me, uh, you keep me here by your appreciation. So, for now, this is me saying I hope you have a great day. Go make some art and... Uh, have fun doing it, and don't worry too much about anything, because you could let that dry and do a whole other layer tomorrow, which might be another interesting experiment. So I said this is Priscilla Batzel at Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, but I just said it again, which means I should tell you I love you again, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Uh, oh, wait. I said give me a thumbs up. Check the community head on my header, on my channel header. Check community to see tomorrow's potential video if you want to. And... Um, Come to Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation if you're a student. That's a Facebook page or Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors for Fans and Collectors. Another Facebook page. Or if you want to go shopping, hit the Shop Now button on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More. And you'll be led to my Farnet America and Pixels.com. And underneath the video, <laughs> our wonderful leggings and all over print t-shirts and if you f click any one of those things it'll bring you to Teespring. And you might have to troll around in there. It's not the easiest place to navigate but it's worth the trouble. Let me tell you I have two of those pairs of leggings and they're fantastic. So I'll see you guys soon. Priscilla out. Bye for now. I was already pretty close. No kidding. Oh, on the end screens you can find Playlists by the hundreds into the 900s in fact and uh, By topic too. So have fun binge watch some videos. Would you? Thanks. I love you guys. Bye